I welcome you all to Literature Hub 247. This is a literature channel where the hearts and science of literature are discussed. This video is a tutorial video on look back in anger. In this video, we shall be discussing 2022 were questions and we answer the question, we attempt the question according to the guidelines of WAEC. Look back in anger. The play is written by John Osborne. Now, let's go and uh, discuss the questions. We have two questions for that year. The first one is, Consider Jimmy's view about the Victorian society of his time in the play. Consider Jimmy's views about the Victorian society of his time in the play. But before we go to the question, I just want to say something about the Victorian era. What do we understand by Victorian era of uh, England? You know, that period is also known as a uh, the period of industrial revolution. So during the time, the population of many cities in England grew rapidly because of uh, new factories that uh, sprang up. So these factories use uh, machinery powered by steam engines. So it requires a lot of workers. So there was a uh, rural urban migration of people looking for jobs. So that period the society in England was divided along classes. That is, we have the working class, we have the middle class, and the upper class. Now, the protagonist of this play, Jimmy, belongs to the working class and is not convenient with it. So he shares his experiences in this play. Now, let's go and uh, do justice to the question. Consider Jimmy's views about the Victorian society of his time in the play. Note, in answering this question, candidates are required to 1. Relate the question to the themes of the play. 2. Identify the characters of Jimmy as presented in the play. 3. Discuss as at least three of his views about the Victorian society of his time with copious examples from the play. So these are the guidelines we are going to follow in answering this question. So this is a new dimension introduced by Waek in answering the question in this question. So if you have not watched my video where I explain this, please go and watch it. If that's what the video is. How to answer literature and English questions in Waek and Neko. So if you need the link to that video, just write in the comment box that will send you the link to how to write how to answer literature and English questions in WAIC and NECO. Again, how to answer literature and English questions in WAIC and NECO. If you watch that video, you will understand what you are doing here very well. Now, solution to the question. The major theme of the play is the conflict between the social classes that Victorian England society is divided into, which gives back to other themes. Jimmy, is the character that brings this forth in the play. You know, I told you that Jimmy belongs to the working class and it's not convenient with uh, what happens to him as uh, a member of that working class. Jimmy is the protagonist of the play. He's about 25 years old, tall and slim. He belongs to the working class of the society. He's married to Alison Redfern of the middle class. Her parents of the middle class. Jimmy is a university dropout. He ends up in a sweet store with his friend, Cliff. So Jimmy is married to Alison Redfern, but Alison happens to be of the middle class. So Jimmy is of working class. He views the Victorian society of his time as divided across classes. Upper class, middle class, and working class. People are categorized based on their level of education and privileges. Jimmy views that all is not well among the classes, hence he doesn't like anything 
attracted to his wife, who is of the middle class. He doesn't like Alison's friend, Elena, her parents, and my brother, Nijay. Working class life to Jimmy is not interesting and full of boredom, where people are jobless or engaged in many jobs to make ends meet. So this set of people are the ones used to power the the, the, the various machines that are used in these uh, factories. So the working class are not convenient with, uh, with, their, with their life in England of that period. To while away the time and make things lively for him and his friend Cliff, engaging, scrutinizing the weekend newspapers, which they eventually find uninteresting and repetitive. In conclusion, Jimmy believes that things are working well for the other classes. But for the working class, it is never perfect. So that is a that's Jimmy's views about the Victorian society of his time in the play. Now let's go to the second question. That's a question six. Comment on Alison's reactions to Jimmy's attacks on her family. Comment on Alison's reactions to Jimmy's attacks on her family. You know, Jimmy always attacks his wife's uh, family because they are of different uh, class. As I said earlier, Jimmy is of working class, while Alison's uh, parents are of the middle class. So he's not happy. So he, always, he, he, he always attack his wife and members of uh, a family, including the, uh, his brother, Niger. Note, in answering this question, candidates are expected to, one, relate the question to the themes of the play, two, identify the characters involved in this case, that is Jimmy and Alison. So those are the, the characters that are involved. Three, identify the different attacks from Jimmy to Alison. Four, itemize the reactions of Alison to Jimmy's attacks. Five, write the implications of Alison's uh, reaction. So these are the guidelines that uh, we have to follow in answering this question. The solutions. The major theme of the play is the conflict between the social classes which is responsible for the attack from Jimmy to Alison, his wife. Jimmy Potter is Alison's husband, who is of the working class based on his level of education. He is a university dropout. He also managed a sweet store with Cliff, his friend. He is about 25 years old. So with this, we have related the question to the theme and also we've identified Jimmy as a character. Alison Potter is Jimmy's wife and the daughter of Colonel Relfem from the middle class. She is also about 25 years old. She is tall, slim and dark in complexion. She is Elena's friend and also friendly with Cliff, Jimmy's friend. Jimmy always launches attacks on anybody that is attached to, attached to Alison, his wife, ranging from direct attacks on her to her family and Elena, her friend. He always blames Alison for her inability to react to the problems of her social class. He refers to her as Lady Pusillanimous, quote unquote, which means that Alison is a coward, that she's not bold. Jimmy insults Alison's parents, casting aspersions on them. He labels them, quote, militant, arrogant, and full of malice, unquote. He conducts Niger, Alison's brother, and refers to him as, quote, the straight-backed, chinless monster who went to Sandals, unquote. He says nothing good about the Alison family. He tagged Niger and Alison as, quote, psychopathic, psychophantic, 
phlegmatic and pusillanimous. Unquote. Silence, you no, know, this is the reaction of uh, Alison to the attacks. Silence is the weapon used by Alison to combat his attacks. She will ignore him since he's used to the attacks and carry on with her eye on him. At times, she will divert to other issues as a response to Jimmy's recuperations. She might ask Cliff if he wants to smoke. She eventually takes her friend's advice to leave Jimmy. This response from Alison shows a level of maturity and love. It also leads to more attacks from Jimmy and eventually enables Jimmy to take back Alison and continue enjoying their lives as bear and uh, squirrel. So, we have done justice to, to the two questions on uh, look back in anger. That is 2022 YF questions. So, if you are new on this channel, I want you to subscribe to this channel by just click on the subscribe button down there so that you have access to all our videos the one we have reproduced and the ones we are about to produce you have access to them the moment they are produced you'll be notified you can also share uh, these videos on uh, any social media platform that is allowed invite your friends to join us here as we have a lot to gain so that uh, you will be equipped for WAEC and NECO exam. We have discussed all the literature texts and poems on this channel. So there are lots of things you can hear. And if you have any question on literature in English, just send it through the message box and the questions will be attended to. Thank you and God bless you as you are following this channel.